hello students welcome to lecture 9 in today's lecture we were uh, we are going to discuss uh, with uh, discuss about template method so i am sure your course teacher shubhya sarkar uh, let's know about what is template method um, basically um, this word templates means that uh, a sample or a structure uh, of something so here template uh, means the same uh, I, I, what the, it means in general sense uh, basically template method is a behavioral design pattern why this is called behavioral design pattern because it describes some behavior of a um, of a object hmm. so there is a pattern also so uh, object who, uh, when behave there is a pattern uh, so uh, it, uh, it follows a um, routine routine uh, of the uh, behavior of a uh, object so uh, in template uh, we will create a template in a um, abstract class or a base class and uh, it will describe us about the uh, behavior of that object or pattern of behavior of that objects it follows uh, it allows to define a skeleton skeleton means a structure um, or, or architecture of an algorithm in a base class so here the word algorithm means here the word algorithm means the process of doing something so uh, let's uh, uh, let's assume that our object do some work in a, a routine manner so this is its behavior so uh, it follows some algorithm and this algorithm will be described in the uh, skeleton class or the abstract class or the base class and of course uh, uh, from where uh, that means from subclass this base class will be called and uh, on um, the object of that subclass will follow the algorithm that is defined in that abstract class or base class the subclasses override the steps without changing the overall algorithm structure that means subclass will not change but override so we already know what is override uh, so the structure will not be changed of uh, algorithm of that algorithm that means in the written in the base class but subclass has uh, has features that it can uh, override the features uh, override the uh, override the result or the functions or the methods of base class so we will uh, see in the uh, coming slides with an example so now uh, we need we need to know what is the basic structure of uh, uh, of a template method in coding implementation so at first we have to create a abstract class that means a base class uh, so uh, in this terms maybe um, this term maybe uh, some some kind of uh, new to uh, you some of you uh, so abstract class is not basically a, a class that performs some um, uh, perform some works so, but abstract class the the speciality of this abstract class is that abstract class hold the structure or the uh, or the template of some other classes so abstract class directly uh, directly do not work but it holds the structure of any uh, any any object or the structure of behavior of any object so uh, it will not directly uh, move to, to work on or do any fu function so here is the uh, here is our base class that means uh, here the base class name is algorithm not parent but it is our parent class so in uh, in uh, inheritance uh, lecture we uh, saw it as parent class but here uh, i did not use the term parent but it is an algorithm that will that will show us the process how the object behave the how the object will behave so uh, this is the algorithm you can uh, use any na name uh, in replacing uh, by replacing algorithm so uh, here inside algorithm i uh, i have uh, defined three uh, separate function or method this is my task one this is task two and this is task three uh, all um, all all of this method or uh, all of this uh, or a few of this behavior will be uh, will be followed by any object not it is not mandatory that uh, all the behaviors will be maintained by the object but few of them can be maintained by uh, uh, any object of any class any subclass there may be more than one subclass so many uh, any subclass can follow a few rules and uh, other subclass can follow a few rules uh, there there is also possibility that a subclass can follow all the rules okay there uh, in, in, in these uh, separate functions 
or separate methods shows us some separate output so uh, outputs are, i i place the output so that i can understand uh, from where it is uh, it is uh, controlling uh, the control is moved to which place to where so uh, here i assigned a for task 1 i uh, i just wrote the result that uh, task 1 in abstract class. so i am in the abstract class or the parent class or the base class and the the, the function is task 1 task 1 function so uh, in the second function i write task 2 of abstract class uh, in uh, task 3 i wrote uh, task 3 in abstract class but there are, there is a combined class uh, uh, combined method uh, function which holds all of these three tasks if it is called that means sequentially all of these three tasks will be performed by any uh, object so uh, there is a possibility that uh, our object have all these three functionalities so the, uh, uh, the, uh, this function can be called if there is a possibility that uh, that uh, the um, the sequence of calling these functions can be changed then think, uh, this single uh, methods can be also called when necessary so uh, after creating the abstract that means after creating the sub uh, structure of uh, my algorithm uh, so i i move to the subclass subclass means parent uh, child of that parent class so my parent class is algorithm class and subclass name is subclass 1 and there is another subclass that is subclass 2 and it is also a child of parent algorithm so after that in subclass i call all of these three but you you have choice uh, if any subclass that means uh, I, if uh, i think that uh, 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 created a object in this in this class uh, do not have uh, if i create a object if i uh, assume that a object one do not have this all three properties or very uh, all this behavior then i can call uh, some of them i can call some uh, some of them for object one if uh, uh, another object that is object two is created uh, for this uh, this uh, in this subclass then it has only a uh, few of the, uh, them then i can call in that order so i have uh, freedom to choose what in which order they will arise also i can call the combined method so i can also call these methods and all the all the sequence uh, sequential um, uh, sequential methods will be followed by that object so uh, um, at the end i created two objects sc1 and sc2 sc1 uh, belongs to class subclass 1 uh, and sc2 belongs to subclass 2 Be, uh, after when i call sc1 uh, under subclass 1 it, it will show me these three lines why because because uh, in subclass uh, subclass 1 these three task has been this uh, three function has been called so there's uh, that means uh, task one task two and task three will be performed uh, similarly for class uh, subclass two uh, subclass two has also this three task so this three task is performed here but uh, you you may ask me this, the, uh, the uh, whole task are same for uh, for subclass one and subclass two uh, no they are not same because their output is different you see here uh, in task one of subclass one will print that task one in subclass two subclass one and uh, while subclass two prints uh, task one in subclass two so these are two different result from two different subclass that means uh, uh, according to the definition of uh, method uh, overriding uh, method overriding is happening there so these subclasses override their uh, actual uh, actual method actual method was written in the algorithm class their parent class that was task one in abstract class but they are printing that task one in class uh, subclass one and here uh, it prints that task one in subclass two that means result has been changed the fun uh, the functionality has been changed that means the function uh, subclass is uh, inheriting the properties of algorithm uh, algorithm parent that means parent class but override the methods of the parent class so uh, that what we wanted in the in this section uh, i wrote that the subclasses override the steps without changing the overall algorithm structure that means subclass over uh, is overriding the steps so come to a real world example if i consider a scenario uh, here as con uh, scenario is written 
a graduate student has a very busy schedule. He has to prepare his meal as well as his study. So he think he he, he thinks uh, to prepare and uh, everyday routine pay, uh, routine based on his uh, everyday workload. Let's help him to do this using template method. If I uh, uh, if I uh, clear some uh, facts, when a graduate student maintain his uh, uh, maintain his study, he has to do his uh, other uh, uh, other domestic task. Uh, the most important domestic task is meal preparing his meal. So uh, we cannot avoid preparing uh, our, our meal when there is uh, no one in uh, in our uh, at our home. So a graduate student uh, has to prepare his meal with his study. But in the weekdays, he was so much busy, so he has no time to prepare his meal because of his workload. So he will choose a, a way, uh, a simplest way to prepare his meal. Uh, so he will uh, choose a, a different recipe. Uh, on the other hand, when uh, 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 during holidays, uh, he has the time to prepare his meal, so he will choose a different routine uh, or different recipe uh, uh, for his meal. So uh, in this scenario, the, he has um, uh, he may have two routine, two different routine for different day, depending on the uh, what is uh, what is the day today, depending on the day, day or, or week weekday. So we have to follow what is the weekday, and we have to follow which routine should be followed. But we have to follow our template. So how can we do that? Let's see. So after, uh, before, uh, th uh, before doing anything, I have to create an abstract class. That means I have to create a template first. So I am going to create a, a parent class. So here I, uh, I create a parent class that is to do list. I, I will just uh, mention uh, here the uh, uh, the everyday tasks, the general tasks that he has to do, that these are the general tasks that he has to do, whatever the day is today. So he has to do all, all the things that is written in the to-do list, but in a different way. Maybe, uh, of course, he has to do uh, uh, lunch. Um, he has to have lunch in every day. This is a this is a compulsory task. This is a regular task. It should not be avoided, but he has to change the, uh, we have to change the recipe. Maybe in in, uh, in holidays he has to uh, do uh, he he will um, he will be encouraged to prepare uh, prepare a good meal that uh, using uh, using a lot of time uh, on that. But in a uh, weekday when he has too much workload or he has too much pressure of his study, he will uh, skip and uh, do a shortcut recipe uh, for his meal. But he has to take his meal. He has to prepare his meal. So. Uh, uh, these tasks are compulsory for every day. So I am preparing his to-do list. So uh, at first I, I, am uh, I am defining a function which is recipe. He has to follow a recipe. So this function, uh, 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 I just pass the function because I will write, uh, override this function in the, um, in the um, actual, uh, actual uh, subclass. So here uh, there is another uh, another function that is prepare. Here uh, here he has to follow the recipe. Here he has to here he has to uh, uh, following the recipe. He has to prepare his meal, and at last he can be able to enjoy the meal. So this is the enjoy function. Uh, at last he ha this go function is combinedly calling all the all the functions uh, in the to do list. So if I call a go function, that means all the all the method, methods will be sequentially sequentially move on to one to another so this is my abstract routine now uh, now uh, i come to uh, the subclass portion so uh, here uh, sushi is my subclass and here burger is another subclass why i take this two subclass uh, suppose uh, in weekdays he he will choose uh, burger because uh, uh, he has too much pressure so he will to, to, he will follow a shortcut recipe a uh, burger ha has a shortcut recipe uh, to uh, prepare it uh, and uh, for sushi it, it will take a lot of time uh, so he will uh, choose uh, this uh, this uh, this food for holidays when he has a lot of time to prepare it so uh, 
I I uh, I choose two type of sub uh, subclass. That means uh, one 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 subclass will take time and one subclass will not take time. So here, um, sushi is the uh, child class of to do list. Here, uh, he, uh, so inside sushi recipe will be called, and here uh, um, I write uh, output follow recipe. So when uh, the control is inside recipe, it will uh, it will print follow recipe. Then. Uh, then uh, comes to the prepare uh, prepare function. In prepare function, it will show me the output that pre sushi is prepared or uh, prepared the sushi, something like that. Uh, so uh, after that, sushi is prepared. Then uh, he can enjoy the food. So enjoy sushi. Again, when he has no time, uh, or on the contrary, when he has no time uh, in weekdays. He will uh, go for burger, and also he uh, his parent class is to do list, so he will follow the structure of to do list. He uh, for burger he has to also follow the recipe, but the recipe will be different. But here the output is same. I I keep the output same, but you can also elaborate this uh, this output section if you uh, design your template uh, as you wish. So uh, you can also uh, make some different difference in this two recipe list. So after that, uh, here uh, uh, the prepare list uh, pre prepare function comes, and here uh, he has prepared. His, uh, he will prepare his burger. After that, he will enjoy his burger. So you see, uh, both the functions, uh, all of three functions are same for both uh, both class, but the output is different. It will show me uh, uh, output, uh, 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 but uh, in this section uh, it is showing the same output. But you can make a change here. It is called overriding. Here he is preparing uh, sushi, but here he is preparing burger. So output is different. So output is overriding in each subclass according to the uh, both of them is following the rule, but they are preparing. Uh, they are uh, giving uh, giving us providing us the different output that means they are overriding their parent class of, uh, method again uh, so if i create a uh, create a object uh, we uh, object name is weekday this is the object this is the object under which class burger class in burger class i am creating an object weekdays why because i know uh, i know in weekdays uh, he will uh, he will want to uh, have burger because he has no time so uh, uh, using this object, he will uh, go. Uh, I I call go function. So control will move to go. So here in go, he will find recipe, prepare and enjoy for uh, which uh, for which class he is he is called inside burger class. So uh, he will go go to this go function, and uh, for this go function, he will go to his own class because uh, it is uh, it is in to do list his parent class. And he will, uh, uh, um, uh, when control moves to the, uh, this this class uh, inside prepare, he will find a prepare in his class. So here, here the prepares class for uh, for his class burger class. Then it will print follow recipe. Here follow recipe. After that he will move back to the uh, prepare class, and he will find a prepare class inside his own class that is prepare class, and he will uh, he will show. Uh, uh, and the uh, control will show uh, output uh, prepare burger. So here prepare burger. After that, the control moves to again the enjoy uh, function, and he will find the enjoy function inside this uh, his own class, uh, and uh, and then output will be enjoy burger. Similarly, uh, I called uh, another object. I created another object that is uh, holidays, and uh, uh, holidays will be uh, will be created under sushi class because. Uh, I know he will uh, he will have uh, sushi uh, when uh, it is a holiday. So I I just choose the uh, choose the object name similar to the situation. So uh, holiday is under the sushi class and uh, uh, holiday dot go will move to his parent class go. Here uh, similarly the recipe will be called and uh, and uh, the control will move to the sushi class and our recipe is found here. So the result will be uh, will be printed, and again a prepare class is uh, next come to the prepare class, and then here is another prepare class a, a prepare class, and uh, this output will be printed prepare sushi, and after that 
enjoy sushi uh, the, the corporal will move to the uh, enjoy so he will find another enjoy in his, in his sushi class so uh, the corporal will print uh, print uh, enjoy sushi so uh, these three uh, three uh, outcome will be printed so here the same method is called but the output is different that means output has been overridden in the sub classes that's all so uh, you can think uh, differently also uh, you can think you should think not uh, you can you should think uh, the, uh, the way in different uh, different uh, you have to think uh, different situations uh, sometimes uh, if you uh, if i do not uh, call this go if i uh, if, uh, try at home uh, like that uh, if i want to uh, change this sequence suppose uh, suppose in a holiday uh, after uh, after enjoying his meal he want to uh, watch movie but uh, in uh, weekdays uh, after uh, after having meal uh, he has to uh, keep studying or uh, sit for study uh, because he has uh, he has a lot of uh, workload so uh, you can change these methods uh, as uh, according to the situation so there can be more uh, more function or behaviors here and you can change his behavior according to his uh, day so you can think uh, different situations and uh, modify the uh, structure or template so that's it for today's class and thank you for listening and i hope that you will try at home uh, thanks for listening